Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the USA States Redux mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and as you can see on screen, the Mogolan Confederation is justifying on us. They've decided that it was in their best interest to get public support to invade our rightful lands. We must prepare our troops on the Mogolan Confederation's border and prepare defenses. This event is a workaround to Hoi 4 limitations they may declare at any time. Prepare the defenses, which I have been rushing some divisions down here, but we got to get to the questions yesterday. So, I asked you guys yesterday. What is probably the longest fault line in California that stretches from, like, what was it, San Diego all the way up to, like, San Francisco, I believe, up to here? Uh, even, maybe even longer. And, of course, as many of you said, the San Andreas Fault. Next question. Where is the hottest place in the United States in terms of temperature? What is the location within California in which the hottest or highest temperature has ever been recorded? In the states let me know in the comments below got a couple comments like i asked you guys yesterday as well what should a good intelligence agency name be and you guys came up with some pretty good answers some of them included like the pacific bear agency the fbi with like a colon or dash california branch because i guess there's a lot of agencies in california go figure let's see someone also recommended we should do the walt disney company which i actually really wanted to choose because that sounds a little fitting but disney isn't quite yet a government corp corporation well it's not a government-owned entity yet, so we'll see what happens. But I did decide to go with the California Department of Justice, because in my mind, that sounds terrifying. Like the FBI, Intelligence Agency, CIA, NSA, all part of the Justice Department in which they want to overwatch everything. Even other states' departments of justice. So I thought that was kind of fitting, kind of nice. It might not work extremely well for 1930s California, but maybe 1940s. Maybe 1940s, because it's almost 1940, so. Ooh, and we're doing some resistance stuff. Ooh, until extraction rate, you, Smoocher, come here and put down some resistance in Oregon. There you go. That's a lot of Oregon you gotta put down. Cool, so these guys said they want to go to war with us. The Mogollon Confederation. Why? We wanted to go to war with Utah. So these guys can go to war with us whenever they want. How strong is Utah? Not that strong. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, they go to war with us immediately. New Hampshire, New Hampshire, right? Empire declared war on the city of Vermont. Well... New England is on fire. They got. Let's see. Do they attack us immediately? What's going on down here? So obviously, as you can tell, our soldiers aren't super strong. We need way more support going to motorize. Um. What? Please no. Please no. For the love of God, no. <laughs> um. That's not cool. Please, please. I don't want to fight the Japanese right now. For the love of God, please, 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 please. Hopefully they don't join. If they join, that I'd say that's a major oversight of the mod. That's not cool. Hopefully they don't. We'll see what happens, but... You never know. There goes Vermont. Well, Vermont went bye-bye very quickly. Oh, god dang it. We have to join them? Um, you know what? How about this? What the heck is this? Bulgaria. Wait. When did I lose LA to Bulgaria? Hello? Um, I'm going to take that back. We're... There must be something in the game files. Oh. What happened to your color? Um. Okay, I mean, that's fine with me, but that's a unique color. So here's what we're going to probably do. We're probably going to beat up New Mexico, and then after that, I'm just going to like go off screen and peace out with the Japanese, because I don't think that North America, at this with this special mod, should get like influenced or allied with outside like you know peoples. I don't think that make any sense. Like, first of all, of course, the states blowing up at each other doesn't make a lot of sense, at least in the 30s. So, I think that's what we'll probably do. Ground support, air accidents. We could use more manpower, probably actually. All right, meeting with Washington. Hopefully they say yes. And let's hope things go well. And they accept the proposal. Our meeting with Washington has gone well, and they've agreed to help California form the Pacific States of America. We now own Washington Territories. Perfect. Formation. We all, let's see what is Alaska. Alaska is a barren wasteland, but it's a lot of value, especially strategic value. We have a new sphere of influence in the north, and we'll have an access to, res to resources the government can't utilize. Alaska is a must-have for the PSA. Nice. Oh, we got their divisions. Oh, that's actually really good. Wow, you guys made a lot of the 24 combat width. I'm going to convert you guys instead to the infantry. 
We get manpower and a lot of guns back, so that's kind of nice. If that's the case, you guys can still probably go to war with the Mor no, the Mormons, Utahns. As someone did say, the Utahns. Patton, eh, well, good luck, Patton. And then you guys can be led by movement bonus on land. Not bad. Maybe two wars at one time. Do we get them as cores or not? No, we don't. Oh, that's so bad. Also, I did make sure we change this. We, I, we usually go local uh, civilian oversight, but uh, local autonomy gives you more compliance, so I definitely want that one instead. That's much better. Cool. Now we go to war for iron, Utah. Cool. So even if you can't do anything here, it doesn't really matter with that other army that we do have now, which is great. Oh, cryptology. Eh, I don't know if we can get... Eh, that's not bad. Four months, that's not too bad. Alright, so let's see. Here's what we're going to do. How many things do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to leave you guys here on the line. And I'll go to war with them eventually. And then you guys. Hopefully Japan doesn't invade because that would really, really suck. I'm going to have you guys come like right here. And just kind of ram yourself into Bountiful and Salt Lake City and Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah two Salt Lake Cities, huh? I guess it's a north and south version of Salt Lake City. Maybe. Cool, other comments though included. Ooh, let's see, so Greece, as I might have already said, I can't remember. Land of the polar bear declared war on the white horse smoke. Wow, okay. Um, but as I was trying to say, Greece. Now apparently they had a civil war, and the faction or the country that had a generic focus, she won, and that's why they were purple. They're still democratic, and still oh, purple. When I saw the purple Greece, I'm like, are they gonna be doing a Constantinople run? Maybe, maybe not. Constantinople, Byzantine, bring the dominions back into the fold. Oh, right. oh, they're actually attacking us down here. Okay, I should pay attention a little bit more. Very cool. Uh, well, that's not good. Well, I guess I got to bring you guys back then. I think if they take over the territory, I mean, it's going to give them some resistance probably. So keep them here and keep them in line for now. That'd be fine. Let them waste our manpower. Let's go and go to war with these guys, though. Actually, are we ready yet? Yeah, we are. Good. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, that's that's kind of stupid. I'll be honest, that's completely stupid why they joined the war against us. We don't have fuel either. Hey, got another carrier, though. That's nice. Uh, not everyone has a carrier here, though. There you go. Just in case. This is literally just in case the Japanese show up, so... Another cavalry division, more recon, 1939. More better military police. Uh, yeah, I'm not even interested in seeing what they are. Nope. Garrisons, you got military police on them already. That's good. You guys go there. Oh, that's a perfect slot for you going to. Salt Lake City, big land, declare war, declare war on Sinaloa. Good luck, guys. Oh, an encirclement, don't mind if we do. Yeah, I don't know why Bulgaria owned, like, our land. That makes no sense. It's probably something in the codes of the game files, you know. So. Do it, Baker Peck, huh? Oh, that's cool. Alright, so since they're busy, go and try to encircle them. You guys can all stop, like, going crazy here, I guess. It's fine. We got Springdale. Defensive Pact. No Hawaii, because if you get invaded, then they have a much easier time to invade us, so... Or maybe the Chinese will beat up the Japanese. You know, you never know. But then again, probably not a communist China. <laughs> uh, oh, Pakistan. Ooh, that was kind of nice. Guerrero declared war on Guerrero. I know the Guerrero or Guerra, actually. Okay. Guerrero. It was Guerrero. I don't know. Texas is pretty peaceful, though. Mm, too peaceful. Actually, you could probably beat them up and cut them off. If you really wanted to. Oh. Texas wants to join our faction, huh? Hmm. I'm just reading the list down here. Uh, we need to control Austin, so... As much as I'd like to... We can always kick him out later. But I'm gonna say no for now. As cool as it is, and that would actually help us... What the heck happened here? What the heck? What type of sl That looks awesome, but whoa! That is... Texas got whooshing up. Wow. 
Wow, wow. Sorry, Texas. We're not interested right now. Who else can we invite? Just Texas? Yeah, I don't know. California working with Texas seems a little odd, to say the least. New Brunswick, Cooper, Nova Scotia. Good for them. There you go. They're in Salt Circle. And gonna die. Good, Excavation 3. I don't know, switch box are just fun, like, as an Idaho. Yeah. Very good. Almost 1940. Let's go and get some more research speed. Oh, we didn't even get this one. Oh my goodness, Mr. Mocha Lover, what are you doing? I don't even know at this point. Go in, get rid of them. Alright, so you guys down here. Well, man, attacking the mounts here really sucks. Oh, okay, never mind. They're gone. Good. Well, at least that's nice. Do you have any upgrades? No? Okay. Me with Alaska. Let's see what happens. They accept! Oh, wow, look at that! They actually did accept, even though they're an Arco Alaska. Great. Great, that actually worked out really well. Oregon didn't want to submit, though. Formation of the PSA. Frank Miriam, the president of California, is proud to announce the formation of the Pacific States of America. What is What was a dream to be a successor of the United States is now a reality. Nice. Core all, wait, core all the land you've taken... Take the entire state rather than... So, does that mean just, like, the Pacific states? Or does that include, like, Deseret, or even... Ne eh, we already have Nevada, but, like... Uh, but I guess that core is this. Oh, we already had that core, so... Hmm. Nice. Ooh. I'm gonna throw you guys over here, because... We're not really penalized for having a big army, unlike some mods. Let's see, you guys. Why is it like this? Texas, who are you fighting? Oh, wait, you're not fighting anybody. Why is... What the heck? Why? What? Then what the? Heck? I thought you, they were fighting. I'm like, wow, they did it a really weird way. But uh, um, okay, so they, did, they declared war on them too. So whatever. Oh my goodness! Please don't tell me we were fighting those guys too. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I I really don't want to fight anyone outside of America. Like it doesn't make any sense for us to. Communist China, the Axis. I mean, if, if they can take him out, great. I don't want to get involved. Uh, what is this world? What is this? What? They're fighting. What? I know the Sudan land isn't easy to fight through, but come on, guys. You get Texas? I'm not going to get Texas or anything because I, I don't think they really deserve it. But, oh my goodness, this is turning into a giant mess. Pam, what do you got for us? Offensive? Nice. I'm going to save these guys maybe for tanks, but sure. Sure, guys. Passive defense. Any partisan, that'd be good. Why are you guys over... Why are you all the way over there, man? Where's the port? There you go. Good luck trying to make it. Amphibious. Uh, I'm not going to choose either one of those. That's not really worth it. Nope. Nope. Land, a seed, and honey, clear one, the big sky... Is that big sky? Canada, you're not taking America. Only Americans can kill Americans right now, so sorry. Not really. Still don't want to attack, because I don't want to voice our stuff. I'm not going to give Texas any of this. I didn't want them in a faction either. You know what? Maybe we'll give them that, actually. Maybe we'll give them that and then kick them out of the faction. Hmm. How long does it take to go to war with each other? 40 guys is not bad. That's not. That's really not bad at all. How are we doing? We need more of this. We need more of this. We need more just stuff in general. Field hospitals are nice. It's almost 1940. Let's go and grab them some atomic research. That'd be good. Let's see. Someone also said in the comments, Play to North Dakota. Take over South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, and Minnesota to form the United Dakota Republic. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think they have a unique focus tree or anything like that, but that, that'd be kind of cool to do. Yeah, sorry, Texas, but we got to get rid of you. Alright, so we're done with them. Wyoming's next. Why is it 65 days? Wow. Hmm. 
The Georgian Empire declared one of the state of South Carolina. Wow. Nope. Wyomingite sovereignty, huh? How about you come over here and just cut them off, guys? That'd probably be better. Boise. Come on in, guys. Nampa. Boise. The double Boises. Hidden Springs. Kuna. Nice. Wisconsinite Empire declared one of the Iowan Empire. Well, the Midwest is collapsing on itself. Uh, Idaho Falls, eh? Well, how about y'all come up here and cut the rest of these soldiers off so we can make it a little easier for us. There you go. And we're going to grab probably next naval defense, cavalry ship attack and stuff. Just in case the Japanese actually do show up. That would be very sad if they did. <laughs> New California Republic, very good. Head on up, son. Salmon. Salmon? Salmon. Oh, we need some support equipment too. Oh my goodness. We need so much support equipment. We're doing relatively okay on everything else. Not great on, every on everything, but hey. Idaho. Just more resistance to be added on. But we get more compliance every day, so. It's not as much as I'd like to get, but whatever. The Red Menace? Yes, please. What a menace. Ogden? Have I? I've never been to Utah. I've never ever been to Utah. I've been over to, through Rapid City, Wyoming, the Cheyenne. I've been to Montana. I think I was, what was it, over here? I think I've been around here, maybe? People's Republic of Oklahoma. Kansas. Missouri. Wow, of all places, Missouri won. Just finished the coffee right there, too. Very good. Now, Wyoming... Oh, the Dakotas! Yes! Yes! Let the Dakotas kill each other! Oh, wait, you're already getting pierced down there, too, huh? It's from Minnesota. Yeah, I don't like how, like, these people are jo joining different factions. I don't think that's really good. There should be, like, a hard counter or something like that to prevent things from, like, from that happening, so... No, I said we could record stuff. It's Occupied State, that's better. Venezuela joined that. Wait, hold on. So, this says it cores all the land you've taken. Take the entire state rather than just the cities. So, Washington should be cored, Alaska should be cored, and stuff like that. Hmm. Wow, that looks like it hurts us. PSA, war support, land doctrine, research speed, motorized, tank licenses. Ooh, that's not bad. 2% more tax. And you get 3% more population. That's not bad. Yeah, we could probably honestly use that pretty much right now. We still have stuff we could do up here, but Lloyd Doctrine, stuff like that. Let's do the form of the PSA, Department of Defense. Now, it looks like this focus tree isn't necessarily done yet. So, here we go. If this stuff is not cored, then I'm just going to have to manually core it, which I don't agree with at all With in terms of it said it would core all this stuff, so at the very least, the Pacific states should be cored, right? That only makes sense. And it did say so in the focus tree, so this ain't cored. It's one thing that we don't have, like, Idaho cored or Wyoming, since we don't even own it, but, like, this should all be cored at this point, so. Puget Sound, my parents have been up there. Cool. Don't want to core that, because that's not probably ours. And don't want to forget about Alaska, either. So this should all be going down. Oh, was there an encirclement here? Now, how about Alaska? Are you all cord? No, you're not. What the heck? It'd be cool if we change our flags, too, but... Yeah, if it says we, we get cord and, and it doesn't do that for us, this is why I like having the state transfer tool mod. Now, that should all be cord now. Resistance should be going down. Good. I won't cord these areas, like, because it doesn't make sense because they're not in the Pacific, so... We could attack, but that's a waste of manpower. That time going through here, yeah, I think off screen, I'm just going to make sure that these guys, uh, we peace out with Japan, because there's no point for us to fight Japan. And I also make New York, and these guys leave the Axis and Comintern. Now, they'll probably rejoin it later on, but... Uh, why? 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 So you, put down resistance in Idaho. Military police is good. 
Happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a good, 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 good year. Great. Nope, nope, nope. And then you. First Amelia's gone. Go ahead and put down the resistance over there, too. There you go. Alright, so. Oh, more military factories. Oh, we're looking a lot better in support equipment now. Nice. That's really good. Water's militia. We need more guns as well, so that'll be quite bueno. I think we're doing pretty well overall. Not great. We're pretty darn well. We might throw on, actually, light tank recon as well. We'll see what happens. More cavalry, perhaps? Yes, we do. Armored. Garrison brigades, huh? Claims on Yugoslavian territory. Don't need to care about that. North Cascadia is justifying on us. Well, alright. Prepare our soldiers on the northern border. So be it. Now, will this be enough to actually... Eh, it might be, actually. If they took over Alaska, so be it. But I can't imagine these guys are too tough. Oh, never mind. They got quite a few guys. Alright, whatever. Now, we should do relatively okay. I said relatively okay. Not, not perfect, but what the heck, guys. Oh, we beat those guys up. That's fine. Just let time go on. I think Big Sky is probably next. 40 days ain't bad. Are we still mobilizing? Hmm. It's not like Oregon and Washington have had that much of a big of a population, too. So. Oh. Now you're all blue. Huh. Oh. Actually, how's the wise Navy? 6,000. Uh, that's not bad. Especially considering it's Hawaii. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Got some improved infantry equipment too. That'd be good. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Now we could attack these guys, but they probably still have quite a bit of manpower to deal with, right? Oh, no, they're out. So we could attack relentlessly, kill off our own manpower. Really not make me happy about that. But we could try. Come on. Could we try it? I mean, they're probably defending hills and mountains, which is god awful to fight in, but hey, that's just me. We're doing well against Wyoming, and we'll go up to the big Ska country soon. Hopefully, at least. The more damage you do, the less they can do. It's going to be so ugly when we do this. Indiana and Illinois. Oh, good. We're going to rush down the side. So, establish specific state armed forces. Well, we get more art, war support, which is nice, but I'm not sure if we can really do anything about that. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, we get the decision. It isn't actually just do the core stuff. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so there we go. Does it actually core everything? So now it cores this stuff here. Okay, so I thought it was just like the focus would auto force you to core stuff. We're now the Pacific States of America, which is cool. Uh, sure, Texas. I'll take whatever you got. Okay, so I didn't realize that, that you actually had to do that as a decision. Good to know. Quite good to know. Oh, there goes New Mexico. I really don't want them in the alliance. Hmm. Let's get rid of these guys first, and then... Okay, so they go to war with us too. Whatever. Whatever. You guys might be able to hold out here, actually. Greece submits to the Germans, alright. And this should be our soon. Cheyenne. I kind of want to go back to this area of the country. There goes Hong Kong. And there goes Cheyenne. Thank you for playing, Cheyenne. So, what I'm going to do is go off screen and make sure we have a PC between New Mexico and Deseret or Utahns and Japan and us. And we'll see you just in a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, I tried to make sure that we could do relatively okay and make sure that at least the people that we know about who are in different or European or Asian factions are now not in those factions. So, here's the peace deal. Alright, so we have obviously Texas is still with us. We'll use them, we'll abuse them for now. We can pull some strings with Texas. Regards, I made North Cascade. Cascadia, who was in the Japanese faction, I forced them to form a faction with the New Hampshire Empire because, well, these guys were allied with the Germans, and Cascadia, the NC here, was allied with the Japanese, and I've already pieced out with them, so I don't want to get involved with that, so. Uh, I actually had New York, who was communist, who joined the Soviet Union. I made them join a faction with the La Belle Provence, so I, I'd, I'd rather have that happen than, like, having to fight the Soviets or the Germans and stuff like that, so. Regardless, let's come up to here and hopefully do okay. Ooh, yeah. You guys come up here. That'd be good. 
I did want to go to War Big Sky Country. So yeah, earlier in this episode, we saw that Texas owns a greater part of Colorado. I gave him this region too, just because technically Mogollon Confederation owned it. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever, you can have it. We'll take out Colorado eventually, but for now, that's how Texas is going to look. Obviously, it's not great. It is what it is. Can't re can't really change it yet. So, oh, what's happening? Eastern Pol This is very ahistorical. Wow. That is... This is disgusting. Nope. And Germany's losing... How are you losing, Germany? How have you guys not capitulated France yet? All you need is Paris, probably. This is really ugly. But they'll probably still win in the end. La Belle Provence. Province. You guys looking okay. Still holding out very well. We've lost 800 versus... Oh, there's a common turn. Uh, Chicken Mac. Cool. Uh, no. Good, good, good. Gold West Country. Now, if we went to war with these guys, we might do okay. Machine assistance decryption. Let me go and do that. I'm going to have you guys just kind of move in. Come into Sydney if you can. Miles City. You guys go right there. Boom, 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 boom. Billings. Nice. Get to Helena. That'd be good. All right. More infantry. Awesome. There you go. Oh, oh, and they joined the... Actually, that makes sense for them. It actually makes a lot of sense for them to join the Fascist Alliance. Since we can't even, like, core their stuff anyway, so... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Now they can actually... More... Land of Seed Honey join the American Union. Ooh. Well, we're not fighting them. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. Fine with me. Makes it a little bit more balanced this way, I suppose. So, fine with me. Even though we're going to need more manpower. Totally okay. Okay, so now I'm going to have you guys pull out, actually. And actually, you guys come up here. So, there you go. And let's get our ships over there, too. That'd be good. You, another light cruiser. Nice. Come up here. Going to need a wee bit more fuel. And by a wee bit, I mean a lot more. So, that'd be okay. And there. Come up to here, here, to here, to here, to here. Very good. Very, very good. Infantry expert. Thank you. Nice. Very, very good. Come on, get in there before they can. Hey, we did it. Relieve devastation. Oh, so we got that bonus to building stuff. Oh, I forgot about that too. Whatever. Go and build there. Let's get some more of this too. Boom, boom. I actually build some of this up there. There you go. Eventually, we want to build a lot of infrastructure everywhere, especially where we have cores. So, thank y'all very much. Very, very much. Probably need everybody's up there though. Nice. Sinking some convoys. This is always bueno. Always bueno. Helena, please come on. Get on to Helena. Nice. Very good. Cut these guys off. Very, very good. Any more ships? More convoys? Don't mind if we do. Oops, I'm enjoying something. Would y'all like to move your booties and get over here? Oh, well, you can't do it like that. Do we not have a port up here? Whoa. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, well, we don't have a port up there. There you go. So that's actually going to really start trying to fight through there, then. Oh, we caught all that, huh? Alright, cool. Head on over. Oh, it actually showed up, huh? Alright. Improved artillery. Cool. 1940, what else do we want? Armored cars, yeah, probably be good to do eventually. Oh, we got hell in the back, that's not ideal. Oh, you guys. There you go. And actually, since you guys are all here, let's do this. That makes it easier. One big old front line, there you go, that's better. Nebraska declare war in South Dakota, even though the Dakotas are killing each other with Minnesota getting involved. Sucks to be South Dakota right now. Wait, so you guys are still fighting? What the heck? Can you guys help out, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, just going to hold for now. It's fine. Fighting mounts is not really good. Really, 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 really not good. Who knew? Zog is defiant. And when are we going to get that port done? Italy to clear one Albania. Halfway there. So it looks like we're kind of at a pro impasse for now. Establish PSA Armed Forces. Research 
New artillery. How about land army tactics? New army tactics. Cool. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Please don't do this area here. There you go. That's better. As long as these guys want to kill their own manpower up, I'm fine with that. Peace. Oh! Right, South Dakota's puppeted. Good job, guys, I guess. Come to Sari, maybe? Is that how you pronounce it? Maybe, sir? Sari? You, you guys can help out. That'd be great. Come on, get the port up there, made. Come on, guys. Up next, we gotta get more manpower, too. The Aztec Rebirth, clear one, big land. That sounds awesome. You guys should relatively easily be able to take this, this guy, these guys out. Man, fighting on the west, western USA is a little bit of a problem. Come on, come on. Japan clear war. Oh, wait, did you? You were already fighting there earlier. Okay, well, they stopped. Whatever. Computing machine is good. Grab this one. Improved computing machine. Alright, we got a little spot there. Nice. We can get to Vancouver. That'd be kind of cool. Up them out, up them out. Anything else around here? Don't want to waste our own manpower. That'd be not very good. Big sky, 76,000 losses. We've suffered how many? Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Don't want to call in Texas either right now. So, Oh, and our guys are off. That's good. Hopefully they can do okay over here. Hopefully. And we might be able to naval invade too. So, we'll see what happens. Vancouver is ours, which is awesome. Convoy is looking... Oh, convoy rating is doing pretty darn well for us. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It says only one, but it's actually probably more than one at a time. Who is our admiral, actually? Spruance. Spruance. Lone Wolf. Ooh, visibility. Meh. Anti-Soviet Pact, eh? Is there anywhere we could do something without having it cost us too much? Maybe. We're looking really good at motorized and support equipment now. That's good. Let's see you guys. Anything else? Signal companies. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, let's go and do that. National Guard divisions, field hospitals, signal companies, as well as support anti-air might not be bad. Just go for the... Actually... Motorized? Would we have enough for that? Maybe. Actually, what if we did this one instead? Oh, you have that. Oh, god dang. Why did you join the common turn? You might be able to do that. For, slight, for some slight armor. There you go. Shift around if you need to. Who's your empire? Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, whatever. Well, for, I'll, I'll off screen, I'll force them to kill each other, like, join the respective American factions, so. It's not the end of the world. Ohio. Oh, Ohio. You went communist? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're actually attacking us, huh? Wow, that sucks. Oh, come on. Yeah, they definitely. I, I'd say the mod definitely needs to be relooked at so that people can join, like, factions outside where they're supposed to be. Because it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's supposed to be a battle royale. Like, get rid of the other nations. Actually, just kill off the rest of the world. Just have, like, all the Americas and that's it. Oh, Oklahoma's having a civil war. Um. I'm gonna say no. Sorry, guys. But not really. Hmm. Aluminum. War bonds are always nice. New Jersey joined the common turn. Gotta go with extensive conscription next. There you go. Nice. Oh, Hoi 4. Why do you always do that to me, Hoi 4? There you go. Big old ska country, huh? Good. Empire of Rust. That's... Is that Pennsylvania? Who's Empire of Rust? No, that is... You guys? Who's Rusty? I forget who's Rusty here. Huh. Oh my gosh. Oof. Cool. Ooh.
All right, so go ahead and stop attacking. George Empire join the, join the Axis. God dang it. Interior region. Uh, new armor tactics. You know what? Let's go ahead and do buy tank licenses because we can't. And I will play this just a little bit off screen just so we can speed this up a little bit more. All right, everyone. And here we are. So I've already ended the war between us and the Cascadians and Montanans. I gave, of course, the land of seed and honey more territory, but regardless. Uh, they ended up with about 300,000 plus casualties. We ended up around 90,000. But it's 1941, January 22nd. I figured, you know what? Let's let time go on. Off screen, later on after this episode, I'm going to fix this up. I might just have one big mega state controlling all this because I don't want the common turn here or the axis because they're kind of, well, getting screwed all over the place. And then the Benelux, they join an, an American faction, so that's definitely something in the future. I think the dev, if they're watching at all, should address maybe like joining factions should be like relegated only to the Americas only, so... Regardless, it's time to go to war with Colorado, and actually, after this episode, I'm going to install the war justification, or quick or fast war justification mod, just so that we can go to war a little faster. Colorado's Democratic. They fl I think they flipped to something else earlier, but regardless. Uh, they're guaranteed by Texas, which isn't good. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and go to war. Uh, maybe we should not do that, too. There you go. Cool. And actually, but you guys are actually against those guys, so that's not too bad. They joined the American Coalition, which is... American Coalition, no, Miller, Union, Union, oh wait, is it the yellow, oh, it is the yellow one, oh, okay, so maybe you want to stop doing that then, that's the case, well, I don't want to take out Mexico, but hey, if we have to, cool, and I wasn't really ready to take these guys out, well, or really assault them, because they have quite a few divisions that are here, but, you know what, if they want to kill themselves on the line, so be it. Oh, we're fighting Florida too, so. This is obviously turning into one gigantic mess. Let's see, we've done a couple other focuses. I've done the Lloyd Doctrine. Uh, the Lloyd Doctrine consists of infantry and artillery being the main fighting force with tactics such as centralized forward combat and shock and all. I've already finished up this part of the tree as well. Uh, new oh, whoops. Oh, come on. Don't cancel that. Uh, research, motorized focus, nothing there. New research artillery, new army tactics, of course we saw. Buy tank licenses, which is okay, and then the PSA armed forces. No real descriptions there, so it is what it is. Grab that, grab that, grab that. That's a very cursed flag of, was that, Alabama? Mississippi, wow. Very cool, though. And we're putting down a lot of resistance, too, with our guys, so not bad. Cool. Oh, well, looks like cool. Roman, oh, looking kind of cool. We shouldn't take too long to go. Why is it 125 days? Yeah, I would say that this mod still could use a little bit more work. Like, obviously the faction thing, which I've talked about already quite a bit. Don't need to talk about that anymore. But, I think there should be some way. Make it like Old World Blues, where you can st slowly start integrating states that you conquer. That are, you know, nearby. Or you know, just states that you conquered. So you can slowly integrate them a little faster. Because at the end, you should probably want to build, rebuild America. So, I'm thinking... Uh, what the heck? Okay, whatever. But yeah, it just it makes more sense if we're able to like slowly core or get even more compliance with the Utah people. If we've had you know enough compliance, have enough time to really basically force them to be like us. Um, come on, guys, just come in the war. Because if you're not, I'm I'm leaving. That's why I didn't really want Texas in here. So yeah, this mod still needs a little bit of work. Just a little bit more. Just a little more refinement, a little more polish. Because if Texas refuses to come in, not really much I can do about it. South Dakota is an enemy, you guys. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm going to have you guys come up here then. If Texas refuses to come in, I am going to kick him out of the faction soon. I will not guard your borders for you, just for the funsies of it, Texas. Yeah, this is definitely turned into a giant mess. A giganto mess, so. And let's see, we also got this guy here. Alexander Hayes. And then we'll end up with... Maybe armor tech? Capital ships, maybe? Capital ships are doing fine. I mean, there's really no one here in the ocean, unless it's Japan, that can really beat us up. 
I don't think the Japanese or the British are really going to show off here, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. There they go. I knew they'd come in. And you can go ahead and move on in. You shouldn't do too poorly here. We'll see what happens. I was also training some planes as well. Oh, hello. Yeah, I threw a lot of planes on here. You guys go there. You should be pretty good. Not too worried about that. So come on, get this tile, please. Thank you. Wait, why are you not moving in? What the heck, guys? Come on. Or at least you guys. Can you guys force yourself to win? Because they shouldn't have that much strength. I'm sure maybe they have Grand Junction, but still. Oh, let's go and grab that. Yeah, you know, let's go with armor instead, because we, we will be using some armor soon-ish, maybe. So we convert our cavalry divisions to armor divisions, maybe. Ooh, yeah, also have some, have some armored cars, too, so that's good. Let's click the motors again. Let's see, medium tanks. We don't have enough medium tanks. Oof, definitely not enough. Uh, cast? No, we're good. Get some naval bombers, just in case. There we go. Nice, we got plenty of cast, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Fighters, throw you guys right here because we need you all, and... Nice. And put you both... Oh, I don't know. Right there, maybe. Lots of damage, very good, doing okay here and there. Plenty of manpower, since we got a little more population from the Pacific States Armed Forces. Texas has shown its true colors and doesn't really want to be in an alliance with us, which is fine, whatever. Whatever. If you don't want to be in an alliance, well, we won't help you out. And you better give me back New Mexico, then. Land of the Polar Bear joined the Axis. I don't think we're fighting the Axis, so... Come on, guys. Seriously. You wanted to join the war. So you better join. Not sure what else to tell them. We'll keep Sinaloa for ourselves, though. Uh, okay, then they go to war with us as well. God, these factions, man. This is just a giant mess. America Battle Royale. That's pretty much what it is. Grumman Wildcats. Cool. Uh, let's do some of this. Let's get some uh, formation flying. Carrier fighters, good. Better. I like better carrier fighters. Wow. We must have really butchered them pretty nicely then. Anything else here? No? Good. Good, good, good. But yeah. Yeah, the mod could still use a little bit more polish. Definitely could use a little more polish. So once these guys are done, I'm going to move us up a little bit more further, further north. Just because we kind of need to. So. Alright, so if we want to do something here, I grab them horses. Horsey boys. All but one, take that. All but one. All but one. All but one. Go back to Laramie. Yeah, this is Wyoming, so that's good. Go to there. Lander. There we go. You're not going to do that, son. Thank you. Cut him off. Kill him off. How's this looking? Uh, these guys are not doing the war against us yet. How are we looking down here? Not bad, not bad. Mexico is a little easier. Casper, thank you. Like the ghost. And these guys are cut off. Good. Now, you might not be able to win immediately, but they will event win eventually. So, Oh, happy 41. Let's grab some more construction speed because we're still building stuff up. I did build some refineries, so that's pretty nice. Sonora is gone. Gonorinos. Well, not Ganoria, but Ganoria knows. And just keep moving in. Not much else to say about it. Come to Durango. And take everything along the coast. Nice. Good. Very good. Head on to Boulder. La Junta. Lamar. Oh, why are we over here? Nebraska. Oh, they're in our alliance. Yeah, I guess they... I, huh. Why don't you get involved? Or I'm literally going to kick you out of the faction after this in Texas. Oh, we got Boulder. That's nice. Come on. Take out Sinaloa. Come on. Oh, another division encircled. Nice. 
Get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. Hey, encirclements. Not great. God, fighting this part really sucks. Hopefully the East Coast is a little bit better than this. Uh, yeah, go there and then go to Denver. That's a pretty huge city to take. If possible. Oh yeah, we have you guys over here too. Whatever. Uh, wait, are we fighting these guys too? Oh. American Union? I Land of seed and honey? No, they just have military access. That's stupid. Big old dum-dums. Come on, kill them off. Come on. There we go. Westminster. Good. And... Come on, move those horse legs. Alright, so Texas, you're done. You are done. You just want to take whatever we, we get from these wars. And you're not even going to support us. Alright, well, you're showing your true colors. You're going to be... I'm kicking them out of the faction after this. It's a good thing it's our faction, not anyone else's. Aurora, that's good. Okay, seriously, Colorado, give up. You've lost all your major cities. Denver, Boulder City, Colorado Springs. I'm not sure that's a major city or not, but... Seriously, what else do you have? You have nothing else here. There we go. Cool. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to refix these factions, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when I've already we'll have capitulated this and we do our doctrine. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.